hello everybody how are you doing it's another time here and we are talking business today so i have this very gorgeous lady here with me you know she's actually a nigerian who is based here in ghana and she's a baker and a decorator and i've seen a lot of her things before and i was like okay let's do something on you know on screen and talk about business what it's like doing business here in ghana and everything you can think of so i'm going to allow her introduce herself and tell us properly what she's all into all right okay hey, hello guys um my name is omoso ifelu i rejoice and i'm the creative director at um, regis cake so our regis will bake we decorate cakes and confections but mostly cakes any kind any size for any occasion wow. every occasion <laughs> okay yeah so how long have you been doing this business uh i think i've been into the business since 2017 okay i was still in school then so yeah since then okay so how what has it been like has it been glorious or true <laughs> has there been setbacks has there been challenges that you would have okay i want to quit at this point oh and if anybody tells you that in business there has never been a time like that then they are definitely lying um it's not been all glorious but they've been like sweet points and then they've been very low points but then every time they are low points i'll be like well let me try again let me try again i keep saying let me try again and okay that's so it. now you're based in ghana right yeah. have you all been in ghana all the while like from the 2017 you started till today oh no no i okay. haven't that means um i came to ghana was it last year okay and um, november i think oh, okay so since then i've been here okay yeah. so what has it been like doing the same business like you know sometimes people want to switch but you're doing exactly what you're doing in Nigeria, right? Yes, you're doing the yes. same thing here. So what has it been like doing business in Ghana? Oh, it's been very unexpected. Let me use the word unexpected. Okay. Because then when I was coming, I was like, I had high hopes. But then sometimes it's very slow. But then, okay, let me still keep doing what I love doing. Okay. And that's just it okay so like have you is it that what, what what do you mean by being unexpected and um, what i mean by unexpected so when i came here okay i i didn't expect to get a job okay i expected to just keep doing my own thing you know okay. but then i applied to some places so that i could be doing my own thing and then be doing what i love also okay. and then i got the job okay i got the job to work at bake shop okay. and then i'm still doing my own business as regis cake okay so that's what i mean by unexpected so i'm doing the job as a baker and a decorator and i'm also doing my own business as a baker and a decorator so has, what has it been like like putting the two together has it been challenging has it been very tasking is, is one not affecting the other are you able to like measure up or are you able to like fit in into the two it's been so challenging like it's been very very exhausting because yeah. then i have to close from work by uh, let's say 5 5 30 okay. and then i have to start my own thing okay maybe if i get an order oh. i have to stay, make out time to go to the market to buy the stuff start baking i have to work like overnight mm. so it's been very very tasking and very time consuming okay so do you work all through like sunday um, to sunday oh not sunday to sunday okay. but it most times it feels it feels like it's sunday to sunday again wow. because i have to go to work like monday to saturday okay. excluding um wednesdays okay and then we close what happens on wednesdays on we oh wednesdays are my off days okay okay then i have that's like mondays and so and uh, wednesdays and sundays are like the only days i get to do every other Dang. thing attend to orders clean up run run errands and so what if you didn't have that opportunity for example you were not gi you were not given the off day thing were you still going to be doing your own business oh definitely so how would you have how would you have how would you have I would manage in Nigeria okay. spirit in me will, <laughs> will, will push me to cope. Okay, so have you been man you know, what was it like coming into Ghana, blending into what was the culture shock for you? Like how did you 
Um, the culture shock for me was the language barrier. Okay. That was very, <laughs> it was very shocking because then you want to, you are trying to communicate with someone and then sometimes they don't even understand what you are saying. And then when they are talking back at you, you'll be like, hey, what's this person saying? <laughs> and then the food okay getting our own food and then their way of life <laughs> okay yeah so what about in in the aspect of business what was it like you know what was your business like in nigeria and what it is right now here in ghana um in nigeria i think it was busier then okay it was busier in nigeria of course i've been there for years and then people will be like okay she's our person she's our person and then coming here, you are now like a foreigner. You are a foreigner, not like you are now like a foreigner. You're a foreigner. And everybody's like, mm, Nigerians. They have this perspective about Nigerians. True. Oh, these people. Oh, these people. But then I try to convince them that, okay, you don't have to look at the fact that I'm a Nigerian. Just try the product, see how it is. So basically, that's that's it okay yeah. so you mentioned that you work at big shop right yes please. how are you able to because i know it's actually very big you know um, because i've i've you know taken some of their products before yeah. so what aspect do you work where exactly do you work and what was it like how were you able to like get the okay. job so that's where the grace of almighty god comes in <laughs> it was a miracle actually wow. it was a miracle because when I came, I had no intentions of working for anybody. I've never worked for someone before. But then I was like, okay, while I'm doing my own thing, let me try and like get extra source of income. And then I felt like if I'm there, I'll get to meet more people, expand my circle and all of that. So I applied. I applied to two different places anyway. And then I was called in for an interview. Mm -hmm. And then they were asking these questions like, why are you here? Who told you about us? How did you get to know about us? Do you know anybody on the inside? And you know, some kind of questions they ask you, and like, hey. So, um, luckily for me, and by the grace of God, I got called in to resume. And you know, I really don't have like a catering certificate, like to actually show that I learned um, maybe baking and all those stuff. And when I told the person that was interviewing me. She was like, oh, wow, you don't? I said, no. She went through my page on Instagram, and she was like, oh, wow, you did all this? I said, yeah, are you sure? So, yeah, so she gave me a cake to decorate, and she was like, wow, that's clean. That's very neat. I like the kind of cakes you do. We'll get back to you. I went home, and I was praying. I said, God, God, I want this. I want this. Because it was close to my house. I didn't want somewhere that was very wow. far and all of that. So, luckily, I got called in in february wow. to resume and then i resumed when i resumed i noticed they had one nigerian there and then they have this okay these ones they are nigerians okay these ones they are our people so there's this how do they call that is it like i don't want to say it's not racism but no, not. i've forgotten the word but sentiment something like that so they were like, okay, this one is new, she's a Nigerian, they were giving that kind of attitude, but then I was doing what I was employed to do, and over time, I think they've actually warmed up to me. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. So now she talked about our Instagram handle, right? Your yeah. social media handle was where they were able to, so you guys can see the, you know, the importance of always you know putting your stuff your skill out there for people to see because from what they see about you they can actually tell you're good of course when they see they still want you to practice what they see but it's not in all cases that people actually call you to not say do exactly what you did here you know showing her skill out there gave her this particular job and she's also free they are where you do your thing right oh yes i i actually told them that i don't intend to work for long I, oh, okay. I told them that I'd like to work for six months to a year. Mm -hmm. And then the next question she asked was like, okay, why? I said, because I just want to know what it's like to work with other people in a new environment. Okay. So that was why I told her. She was very cool with it. She was wow. very okay with wow. it. Wow. I, I am surprised those kind of employ <laughs> employers still exist. Well, that's a good one. 
So, what's your patronage like in the aspect of your own business? Um, my patronage is it goes up and down. You know, I'm new here. People are still like I said before. People are still scared. Oh, she's a Nigerian, and then they already probably have like someone they patronized before. Okay. So I'm trying to convince them. And so it's a little bit up, down, up, down. So what are the things you do? Like all the kind of, do you do all kinds of pastries or you just bake? I just a cake baker because I know there are people who just focus on cakes. Cake. You understand? And yeah. there are those who do pastries and cakes. So which one do you specialize? I specialize in cakes. Okay, cakes. Yes, yes. Any kind of cake. Um, but it's mostly cake. Cakes, brownies, cakesicles, but... It's all cake, cake, cake. Okay. And because of that, because you know, there's something they say about a uh, specialty. Mm. When you specialize in a particular thing, you become good at it. Mm. I'm not trying to brag, but when I focus on just doing cakes, the cakes are good. They are mm. good. Wow. <laughs> How long can you tell us, like, okay, this is where you specialize? So, what does it take now to make a cake, a very simple cake? What am I supposed to do to make a very, very simple cake? Oh, it's very simple. All really? you need, yes, it is. All you need is your mixer, your hand mixer. If you don't have a hand mixer, you can always use your hand, mm -hmm. and then with a spatula. You need flour, eggs, butter, sugar, flavor, and then your baking pan and the baking powder. Yes. So what makes a cake taste different from another? Because all the things you use is just said now. You're supposed to make cakes. Yeah. taste the same way yeah. but sometimes you know when it says somebody else's cake you'll be like no 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 um, I, I, this one I'm, I, <laughs> I'm stuck here you know so what makes a cake unique um first i would say the grace of god mm -hmm. i like adding the grace of god to anything because he always makes a difference mm -hmm. the grace of god one and then number two the passion you see they always say when a woman is cooking food for you and she's smiling the food is always sweeter so when you have the passion and then you are making a cake, that excitement or that joy in you, I feel it transfers to whatever product you are making. And then three, the quality of the materials you are using to make that cake. Okay. So that's it. So you can bake wedding cakes too? Oh, sure. Why not? Wow. So do you, are you open for training? Oh, yes. I'm open for training, private training, group training. I actually just completed the private training last week friday for, for here in ghana yes here in ghana wow you did it for uh... Uh, it was about two weeks mm -hmm. two weeks and then the arrangement was whenever i close from work i'll go to the lady's house and then every day like that for the period of two weeks wow yes so how did she contact you how, how did she meet you oh it was a miracle also <laughs> oh my god my life is filled of miracles <laughs> so she came into bake shop where okay. i work okay and then she was like she would like to train and then our manager then told her oh we don't train but um there's one of our workers here oh. who can treat who can teach you oh. she was like okay was let so me nice. get oh that was very nice in fact so she was like okay let me get her number and then she got the number the number was not correct oh she had to call again i think it took her about some days to mm. call back she called again she called the shop this time and said ah please i'd like to talk to the nigerian lady because she didn't even remember my name so she was like i'd like to talk to the nigerian lady who teaches how to bake and then i spoke with her and that was it we talked about the process the time and everything and she was excited and that was how we got started so she has a student, or she has an a graduate. <laughs> she has yeah, she has somebody that she that has trained that she has trained here, here in Ghana. Ghana. <laughs> so an Eganian. Eganian. So yes. that means you're open to more of such. You're flexible. Oh, you're ready. I'm you know. very very flexible. Yes. Okay, wow. guys. So here I have one of our products. Yes, so me. I have actually tasted this before, and I love this so much. If I I specially requested for this. And she brought it to me so i really want her to talk about how was the process of making this just look at that with my customized spoon everything is just so so tell me the process of making this um the process of making this mm. is um first i had to get the contacts for the container okay and you see it's very nice i don't think i've seen anybody use this before um when you get your container or you, then you need to get your 
label or your stickers and then you get your spoon mm. and then you bake the cake so this is the cake mm. and then i have swiss um, meringue buttercream here that's what mm. i use and then this is strawberry filling okay. and then we have another layer of cake and then another layer of um, swiss meringue buttercream Okay, so what, what do you call this? Is this you? Um, most people they call it just cake in a jar. Most okay. people they call it cake in a jar. Mm. But then I got tired of that name. I've had too many cakes in a jar, and then I called mine desert pots. Wow. So it's just cake. So you just created different. your thing. Yes, I just created my thing. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'll be dropping a link, our uh, Instagram handle, and our contact. In the description box so if you're interested in any of these things and they are quite affordable right oh sure they are. okay so do you do you wish to tell or surprises or anybody will contact you um to... oh i can say the price okay you can say between you can get as low as oh you or... can get um one of these for as low as um 35 cds it wow. comes in different flavors there is the vanilla there is the chocolate and then there's the red velvet cookies and cream the, the list is endless so you just contact us and then we'll give you the list of all the flavors okay so we would like to know now what makes you unique um what makes me and my brand unique is we always bring i always bring new designs like any new design i see i want to like put it out there for you guys to have a feel of what's trending okay. and then um you know so many people use cake mix cake mix is like those pre mix it's in a box mm -hmm. all you have to do is add sugar or add egg or add water but then at Reggie's cake everything is made from scratch fresh the best quality we can get and we can afford wait let me understand this cake mix thing you mean like okay there are options now where people can just easily easily just oh yes there are options it, you see the way you go to the store and then you buy like a box of cereal yeah it's in a box of cereal like that but then it's just in powdered form all really? you have to do yes all you have to do is pour in the bowl is it safe ah uh, i i can't tell because so how can you tell? i haven't used it ever okay so how can you like how do you is it does it mean that people need to start asking whoever is baking for do you use cake mix oh sure you should you should definitely ask and then one way you can tell is cake meats they are light and airy like very light so um you see those very um, light cakes that you get out there yeah most of them are cake mix are you serious oh yeah wow so you had say something about your uniqueness being that when you see a new design you want to you yeah. know you want to like explore you want to do it yes. so how has it worked out for you because i see a lot of cake designs today and i'm wondering how do they create these things even the ones you show me or the ones you're seeing on the screen you know i'm like whoa how do you how do you guys create this thing do you do the same for your you know where you work like do you like give them new designs or you already the designs you learned okay or you, the designs they you know you already you met there is what you do oh no i one thing that's also one thing that makes me very unique when i've done something once and then i do it again twice i'm tired i want to try something new so i'm always eager to do something new even where i work i always bring something new to the table and after i try it myself to be sure that i can do it right and perfectly i try to teach my colleagues and show them how it's done so okay. new cakes every single time wow yeah of course you're a decorator basically. oh yes so you have to like mm -hmm. and when you, if you create... want to stay if you want to stay on board you have to like create new stuffs all the time you can't keep doing the old stuffs it's true yeah okay all right you've heard it all guys so i'll be dropping a handle in the description box and also a contact so you can reach her and patronize her she's doing so well i'm happy for her that uh, no, I love the fact that I employ my employers allowed her, you know, to just do her thing. And you know, they they even I don't know what it is like. That means bake shop they don't train, right? Oh, they don't train. They don't okay, train. so if you want to train, you they can actually give you, you know, I don't know that's so nice for them to like give your contact to somebody who came to buy something. So how is that? Uh, how is that your trainee now? 
Oh, she's fine. She actually traveled. So okay. she came specifically, I think she came specifically to learn. Okay. And then she traveled. But she's doing so well. I think I have some of her pictures where she was trying to like cover the cake. And then when she was done mm. with all her end products. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, that's good. All right, guys. So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. We want your orders. Like, is it not? Yes, so we want them. <laughs> lots and lots of them. All right. So thank you, everybody. Do want to subscribe and don't forget to like this video. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.